Kenya is among uh, countries that have staged concerted campaigns to save the rhino, but the mammal still remains endangered with fears that it could be extinct in a few decades. While all may not be lost, and the latest effort to save the rhino is not in the wild, but in a laboratory, a U.S. company is looking to bioengineer rhino horns, then flood a lucrative black market and eventually save the endangered species from extinction. Rita Tinina has that story. One of the big five, the rhino tops the list of the most endangered mammals, not just in the country. Such scenes perhaps illustrate just how endangered the rhino is. The rhino horn is much sought after by poachers. Poaching levels for the rhino horn have increased in recent years, largely driven by demand for the horn, especially in Asian countries. And not even efforts by private conservancies or the custodian of Kenya's wildlife, KWS, have managed to get the rhino out of the woods. About 20,000 rhinos roamed the Kenyan wild in the 1970s. Now, just over 1,000 are left, meaning that 95% of the 70s population has been wiped out. Rhino horns such as this one fetch hundreds of thousands of shillings on the black market. Well, for this horn, no rhino was killed. This one was bioengineered in a lab in the U.S., but would easily pass for a real rhino horn. There's going to be some differences still. I mean, we're not bioidentical yet, though that's the goal. The Pembient company obtained a real horn and is using the latest biotechnology to replicate it so that it can pass for the real thing. The idea is to flood a lucrative rhino horn black market with the bioengineered horns and make it costly for buyers to test whether they have the real deal. One of the interim goals is to make it more costly to test the object and the object's worth. And I think we're pretty much getting into that, that territory now. The company hopes to perfect the science in coming months, then start selling the lab-grown horns. It is betting that poachers will be among its best customers. We can't really control what happens to our horn once it leaves our distribution points, so there's a potential people will take our horn and relabel it as wild horn. Rhino horns are comprised primarily of keratin, a family of proteins that make up hair and nails, and are used as an ingredient in conventional medicine. We want to make it such that uh, people may not want to basically go out there and do this particular work anymore because it won't have this very lucrative payday for them. The bioengineering of the rhino horn is the latest shot at saving the second largest land mammal. And maybe, just maybe, the technology at this San Francisco lab may pay off as the efforts to save the rhino now move from the plains and savannas to the lab. Rita Tinina, KTN News.